in the flesh. Hey, I wish you feel like about uh, feeling like the four. I feel fantastic. Which one would you be though? Uh, this is fantastic because of money like elastic. Memory tricks like coke, smoke oregano. I'm smoking on the cat. I'm gonna be with you know when I win my yo. She said too big, got that man. How was you feeling about uh, feeling like the four? I feel fantastic. Which one would you be though? Uh, this is fantastic because of money like elastic. Memory tricks like coke, smoke oregano. I'm smoking on the cat. I'm gonna be with you know when I win my yo. She said too big, got that man. Hey, what did that? Like this, too far my soul see the atlas. Remember, don't give me a starfish, so I get what I use as a defense. I came on faster than fast, so be real, all these niggas. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, it's nice to see you again. In today's video, if you read that title, you can tell where I'm at. So, that was Albany State University, and I give it like a 8 out of 10 because they honestly make the school sound so good, and that's their job. But um, the only thing that I didn't like is how country it was like it was really, 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 really country over there. I mean, what did I expect? You know, it was Albany, Georgia. So like, I knew it was going to be country, but like, I was surprised, you know? So that's all. Like, the school sounded really nice. They had really good history. They had all the good stuff. And honestly, it's not like a good school. I just don't think I would be able to adapt to the environment because of how country it was. So that's just my experience with the school. But I think it was really nice. The campus life sound good. And I always thought the campus life was bad. Like I didn't think that it was for me. I was just like, I want my own space. But the way she was explaining it, it didn't even sound that bad. I just had to take my makeup off because i did it in the car and it just did not look good and then i'm not even gonna like try to get everything off for real because in a couple hours i'm leaving my cousin to have dinner because she lives in the Atlanta area i'm in the downtown part of Atlanta right now and um we drove past the city already and the city is so pretty i was gonna wash my face but like i know that i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna do my eyebrows again and i'm gonna put on some mascara and do it all over again so it really made no sense to wash my face to be honest i'll wash my face later tonight but that's just really my plans for the rest of the day i don't know if i'm gonna record that because that's me really just catching up with family i'll probably just record when i'm hanging out with my friend and going to Georgia State University and all the other stuff that we have planned to do. We still have to finalize our plans because we really don't know what we're doing. But that's all I really had to say. I'm very excited to like explore the Georgia area. I'm only here for like two days, to be honest. So. Too many Glockies. I got a drum, he got the one to stick. We'll set it off in his bitch, thinking it's sweet. Smack his L with this blick. Good morning. I need to wake up like. Okay. I think I'm up. I feel like this video is gonna come out next week because I don't think this video is gonna come out this week Sunday because um it's gonna be I think it's gonna be long. I want it to be long, so it's gonna come out next week. But um I'm just gonna be doing my morning routine eat some breakfast and i'm gonna meet ashley we're gonna do some thrifting and we may get something to eat and then go to the college tour i'm not sure yet but i asked my instagram like three four days ago some questions that they have for me no i asked y'all to ask me questions and topics to talk about and i got some really good topics so as i'm doing my morning routine we're gonna talk about that but before I talk about it, I just need to brush my teeth first because I cannot brush my teeth and talk. So. There's a war going on outside, no man is safe from. You can run, but you can't hide forever from these streets that we done took. You walking with your head down, scared to look. Sure. I'm outside and I am. Honestly, I feel like I have always, like, Locks and it really started 
And as much as I don't like to admit it, when rock started trending on like boys and stuff like that, I started to look at locks like, dang, these are fire. And I'm ready to say it like, like it's the truth. Like I would just struggle with my natural hair and I never felt like myself with my natural hair. So I just honestly I locked it. Impulse it was like impulsive. Well, it was impulsive because I never asked my mom to do it before and I was just like, I don't know what fire. But I had thought about it for a long time. And then I feel like I was getting signs, bro. I'm not lying because it would show up on my Instagram feed. This black titian followed me out of nowhere. And she lived, she's located in Ethiopia. And then my friend Malachi, he locked his hair. And we locked our hair around the same time. So that was just my message, like, just do it, bro. I make four months on the 27th of this month. Wait, February, March. Yeah, four months on the 27th of this month. So by the time you watch this, I'll already be four months locked. That's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't know. And you know why I don't? I don't know because I'm confused on what I want to do. Because I want to do psychology. Right. I also want to do business. I don't know which one I'm going to minor in or major in. What is it? A different world? I think that's what it's called. Family matters. Um, well, if proud family would count as a sitcom because it's kind of a cartoon. But having the boondocks, all I can think about right now. If I wasn't a dancer, I'll be doing something more sporty. Do I believe dance is a sport? Yes, but I'm talking about like more sporty as in volleyball, basketball, gymnastics, stuff like that. The real life truth about living in New York, like it's not all that. It's, it's not everything that people will make it out to be. Because I know a lot of people be like, oh my God, when I grow up, um, I wanna move to New York and become this kind of thing. No, yes, New York does have a lot of opportunities. I'm not even gonna lie about that because there are a lot of opportunities in New York. But there's also a lot of opportunities for danger. Like it's just ridiculous in New York. If you move to New York, bro, just do your research, do your studies, learn about what's going on before you even come around here. And if you're moving to New York, you need to have a car. Do not get on the transportation, bro. Don't get on transportation. Because, I don't know, like, it's just not everything that people make it seem for me personally. So, that, that's it for the questions. And that's also it for my morning routine. Now I'm just gonna go make some breakfast. I'm literally just gonna have some oatmeal and probably some water. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Corners in the paddock in my piece. Push a pee. <laughs> Cop no hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Check for peace. Drop the data now we plot. Exotic peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push a pee. Push a pee. On capital P, I write the president, count presidents. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a P. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep the P. Privacy, speak, private speak. jump pushing P. Purple paint, pink, push a P. 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 Yeah. Push a P. Push a P. Push a P. Push a P. Yeah. Pop a P. I'm paranoid, I can't sleep, my pockets deep, got rest on me, why they watching me, I'm pushing pee, pushing pee, pushing pee, pushing pee, yeah.
Push your pee, red bandana card. Push your pee. I'ma pee you at your doorstep. Yeah. She ain't vanilla for me, she simply pours. I never, I never saw ops, now we finally touch. I never, she ready to get in the streets for me, no questions. Hey, too rich to text, I lift my shoulder forward. Take yeah. the P at the F of bitch, try to sort it. I'm pushing P. Push your pee. Push your pee. Push your pee. I'm push your pee. Pee. Push your pee. Push your pee. Push your pee. Push your pee. That food was not even good and it made me tired. I like the appetizer. I like the lemon pepper wings. I just, it was too salty. Mm. The food was not even good. So I have to say. So yeah, we are in Kroger's and we really living the ATL lifestyle because when you hear people in ATL, all they gonna say is, we going to Kroger, we going to Kroger. So we in Kroger's and it's literally a supermarket. Let me put my mask on. Anyways, that's what I came to tell you guys. Ooh, do they have Hot Wheels? I'm gonna look for a Camaro. <gasps> they have a Camaro. Oh no, nah, I'm taking this home. It's dusty, but I'm taking this home, I don't care. Ago, maybe like an hour or two ago i was just editing but i'm just gonna talk about my day and like, after summer and friday so basically my day was like a nine out of ten it was very good we literally explored and ate out and i give my day a nine out of ten and let me just tell you how much fun i had so first thing i did today was i went to the thrift shop with ashley and oh my god, that thrift shop was so good and I found so many good things. I don't know if you saw the hoodie that I um had put. Maybe if I have a picture of it, I'll show it. But I think online, the hoodie's like $180. Mia actually got those hoodies matching for $32. Then I picked up this white shirt for about 16. I picked up some jewelry and it wasn't expensive. I don't really know how much it was but it was not that expensive because the price that I paid was like a hundred or something for five things. Well I bought six things. I bought another shirt but that's for somebody else and it only came to a hundred something. Meanwhile in New York I'd be spending like a hundred something dollars on two things. So I thought that was really good and that was just like the best thrift store that I've been to. It literally had Yeezys, but I was gonna get them, but they weren't in my size. I would have bought more if I had more time, but we didn't because we were rushing to GSU. So GSU, loved the tour, loved the college. It was very big, um, very informational. They had a lot of good things about them. And honestly, I really want to go to that school. Like that's on my, that's like the top three. And I don't want to say like my first first choice because I've only been to two college tours so far. But that's the school I've been thinking about for the longest amount of time. So that's why I say it's my top three. And um, I think it was really really nice. On my way to GSU, I have passed by the Martin Luther King National Park. I think park site or whatever and it was literally the house he was born in and the street and all that and it was very it was very cool like on my way to my dream school there's like mad history there's the church that he pastored in and all of that so i thought that was really cool to like be around and whatnot after that i went to the juicy crab and the food was not good i was not pleased i was hoping for a good meal, but it was not good. It, I gave it like a five out of 10. The lemonade tasted cheap. Yeah, I did not like the seasoning. It was not good to me. The fries, I usually judge places off of their fries and the fries was not good. But today was like a really good day. And it was a good thrifting day. It was a good day with my friends. It was a good day with my family. And honestly, this is our last day here because we leave and check 
We leave here at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So that's just gonna be us leaving. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and I hope you stay tuned. I hope you subscribe and you comment what you would like to see next. Comment your favorite thing that happened in this video and comment some things that you would like to see me do more. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I cannot believe I'm in ATL. But um, I hope you guys enjoy ATL too. I'm not afraid.